Saturday's massacre has terrorized the country. But even the death of 80 Egyptians and the injuries of nearly a thousand couldn't unite the country's reaction. Few political powers held the government responsible and asked to trial the interim president, while others blamed the Muslim Brotherhood. We demand the evasion of Raba El Adawi protesters as soon as possible and take all legal measures to do so. We declare the Muslim Brotherhood a forbidden group. It's a terrorist group. It just takes politics as cover. This call should not allow the armed forces to participate in the political life. The Brotherhood, on the other hand, vowed to continue their rallies against the armed forces who they believe are conspiring with the police against them. What happened yesterday is a terrifying massacre by all means. All peaceful protesters were killed with live ammunition. All injuries were in the chest and in the head. The intention was to murder. They say they wanted to prevent us from blocking the bridge and create traffic at dawn. How sarcastic. So therefore, they shed our blood on the streets. This is a lie. We didn't go. We didn't ascend. Our destination was not to go above the October Bridge. Videos showed that clashes were near the bridge, not on it, which indicated that protesters were heading towards it and that the police didn't attack the sit in Rabah. Egypt's interior minister said that protesters attacked first and defended his troops from killing anyone. I assure you that the Interior Ministry would never fire a bullet on any Egyptian. As far as setting a date to evade the sitting, we are coordinating with the armed forces to determine an exact date and time. But this is according to the prosecution decision on the filed cases, so that we would have a legal cover when proceeding. Investigations have begun to chase the murderers, and while no conclusions were reached from previous clashes, investigations are just piling up. The truth is shattered into pieces, but definitely someone is lying. Because if the Muslim Brotherhood protests were peaceful and the Interior Ministry did not use live ammunition, how did dozens die? Adil Mahrui, CCTV, Cairo.